Hello dear friends, welcoming you all in this beautiful journey of Med School. Some of you have already joined the Med School School, but some of you are also waiting for joining. But some of you have confusion about which one to choose first year subject book and which one to read for a first year itself. But many of you are confused because many faculty have suggested some different book and some of the senior has suggested some different book. So many of you are freaking about which one to choose for our prof exams. But you don't have to worry and break your head into this but we will make your journey simple in this for first year book recommendation so let's start the discussion about first year itself and let's discuss the important book which one to choose and which one to read for a first year itself hello everyone i am hiteshri patel and i am currently studying in third year of medical school today i and my friend vidit will get you and help you to recognize which books are good for you in order to study first year very thoroughly along with a great knowledge and concept which will help you in your next pg so, in first year, we have three subjects, that is anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. First, we will move on to the most important and interesting subject for every one of our medical students, that is anatomy. So, starting out, in anatomy, we have four sections, that is upper limb, lower limb, abdomen, head and neck, and neuroanatomy. For upper limb, lower limb, abdomen, and thorax, I would like you that you prefer B.B. Chaurasya. It is a very great book. Also, it is written by Indian author, which is easy for us to understand and clear our concepts. For neuroanatomy as well as head and neck, I would like you that you go with this book that is Visham Singh. The reason I am telling you to prefer this book over Bedi Chaurasia is some of the pictures of Visham Singh are very good enough that you can visualize all of the organs present here in our body and you can memorize it quickly. But learning anatomy is somewhat tough if you don't know how to visualize it and it will be better if you choose Nature's Atlas in order to memorize and think how our exactly uh, the particular organ is located in our body. If you find that Nature's Atlas is a bit expensive, then you can go for PDF versions and always try that you see Atlas first and then you go for conceptual learning. So, you have recommended the, the, some of the textbook about yes. the anatomy subject, but uh, give, us ideas, give us idea about for small subjects like general anatomy, histology, embryology, which one to choose from the work text. Yes, sure with it. First of all, in anatomy, we have some of the minor subjects, that is histology, embryology, and we also have dissection, which is the most favorite part of all of us. I would like you to give one advice that don't ignore histology and embryology because it will build a concept for a second year as well as for a final year subjects. So, it is necessary that you choose the right book. For right book of histopathology, in order to see what is seen in the microscope very in a defined manner, I would like you to go for the forest at last. But we students also need to give up prof exams. So for that, a very good solution for you is to buy Inderbay Singh. Inderbay Singh is a very good book with all the concise information that you can write in your papers. For embryology, we have two books, Inderbay Singh and Vishram Singh. It depends on you which one you like. I personally referred Vishram Singh because I found the images, images quite interesting and I have a visual memory. For dissection, I would like you to go for Cunningham's uh, book because Cunningham has a very precise way of how to dissect body from the skin to finding a nerve and a particular artery okay so you have given the complete idea about anatomy books and references and many of students have great idea but is there any 3d simulation app so from that we can get the 3d anatomy body picture at our home and we can learn the basics yeah you have talked very nice about it in our generation it is necessary that we go on an app and buy something which would help us to simulate our nerves and then we get our hands and memories on it so it is necessary that if you can or if you are affordable then please buy some apps which will give you a 3d view of all of our body parts as well as some of the minor bones and everything for that i have personally used two apps that is human essential anatomy and human anatomy atlas i would like you that you see the picture here of the icon and you can go in the play store and download the app and do the free version trial and then you can choose whichever is better for you start the discussion about second subject of physiology please yeah, for physiology, the most important and the gold standard book which all of us prefer is Guyton and Hall. Guyton and Hall is the best textbook ever for physiology in order to know all the concepts very clearly. Also, it's important for you, a tip of advice, that you read Guyton and Hall because in physiology, whatever concepts we learn, that are normal body. So, as you move on further to second year and fourth year, that is abnormal pathology and medicine, it is important that you know the normal part. So, if you will read Guyton, you will get an easy idea and you will able to retain all the things easily in your fourth year. Also, for us Indian students, Guyton and Hall reading is not a very great task that we usually do. So we go for the Indian authors, that is Dr. A.K. Jain, Physiology book. Also, you can go for A.K. Khurana. Whichever book you write, you can like 
you can go for it but it is important that the language of the book is totally understandable to you moving on to the most favorite book of all of us that is sambulinga we prefer to read this book for before 2 to 3 months of our exams in order to retain all the things very easily understand it in just a one go read and also to write the question answers but don't prefer it for a whole year to study physiology prefer to read it only in 2 to 3 months the best book which i like especially about gaiden and hall is the gannon's review of physiology this book is preferred by all the international medical students so you can use this gannon's book the most important thing and the best thing about this book is you will get a great and short review of all the concepts which are written by the international author and easy to understand also for practical purpose you can go for dr ak jain book it will be helpful for you to clear out your practicals as well as your vivas but i have one question many of seniors have recommended me a one book like vijaya joshi but generally i have not read about it but please can you guide it yeah, is the sure. good book to read for prof exam vijaya joshi as you can see the length and the breadth of the book is very small so you can use this prep manual for uc students in order to pass out your prof exams but it is not content enough to give you the knowledge so if you have not read anything and it is hardly one month left for your exams you can go for vijaya joshi a tip for you and an extra age book that you can go through for in order to clear your next pg very nicely is the brs that is board review series you can go through this book and also the mcqs which will be very easy for you and helpful for your further exams finally third most important subject of med school but most boring subject of the med school is the biochemistry please guide us about some yeah sure for biochemistry it is very important that you recognize which book is easy for you to understand we are often confused between two books that is bm vasudevan and satyanarayana among these two books you read one chapter from both the books and try to understand it whichever chapter whichever book you find it easy to understand and takes less time you can go for it both the books have same content so don't need of worry in it for practical i would like you to go for geeta damodaran or s p singh whichever you like you can buy it okay but is there any extra age content you would like to recommend to students that they can enhance their knowledge and make their concepts strong even better yeah sure the most favorite book of all of our medical students is the grace anatomy it is a extra age book which you can use for a lifetime in order to explore all of the anatomy of your body we also have international edition south asian edition you can go for any one which you find easy to understand and is available but please go through once in your this whole first year you will fall in love with this book and try to read as many as time as you can okay hopefully we have provided the complete solution about first year book recommendation and you have got complete idea which one is the best for you we have provided all the links in our description box so you can check out the, all the important books for your prof exams in our description box still if you have any questions please feel free to type in the comment box we will love to you answer your questions and and If you want 3D simulation of all the anatomy and the structures, I have my own YouTube channel by the name The Medicorum. You can find the link in the description box. You can go and check out the videos. It will be easy for you to memorize all of the things in a very concise and a short period of time. We will meet you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye bye. And see Thank you guys. You.